888, peace and prosperity, grand risings. Y'all know what the vibe is, man. Before we dive into this shit, so we could get this out there, man, just trash the like button, but I ain't asking for much. All right, so we're going to dive straight into this motherfucker. So I want to show from my notes, okay, everything that I have for y'all. And I'm going to break down uh, the psychic abilities, the different capabilities, and the hands and outs, the ins and outs, and stuff like that, okay? So there's different psychic abilities, and I'm going to just go down the list because everybody's a psychic, but there's some people who are the greatest psychics, and then there's some people that's, that just have their psychic ability. But there's some people that is like, when I mean, some of us are the greatest psychics that we have all of these capabilities and we can utilize all of this as long as, you know what I'm saying, we work on our craft. And then like other people who don't really indulge in their psychic abilities may be like, you know, um, big body people because they're, they're putting more of the essence, their life force essence, their ethos, you know what I'm saying, they prana into their body. And those that are psychic are mostly balanced in the spiritual and the um the mental realm. You understand what I'm saying? So uh we're gonna get down to this shit. Alright, so the longer that most of us live that have psychic abilities, the heavier our heads become. So if you see anybody that got like a big ass fucking head and they body small as hell, they they one of them they one of the greatest, one of the strongest psychics, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was when I was smart, he used to always be like Embo Lottie, he got more head than he got body, type shit. You feel me? Yeah, I always just have a big ass head, and uh, we gonna get to this shit. This ain't about me, but if you notice, if you notice a motherfucker got a big ass head, bro, like people features to let you know things about them. You feel me? Okay, some people, some psychic uh, abilities have a highly developed brain, which is uh paired with a supercomputer. It can use all forms of psychic abilities. Some have superior memory and can recall everything that ever was experienced from birth. Another psychic ability is some wield uh, potent psychic powers. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see what else we got here. It's like I said, some uh, psychics can memorize anything and is never forgotten what is what is what is learned. You understand what I'm saying? That's one of the most dangerous ones. The ones that never forget what they learn. You know, like, it's like, uh, also have a photographic memory type shit. And like I said, some, some psychic's brain can outperform a supercomputer. You dig? Like, we're unpredictable. Uh, psychokinetic powers causes headaches to anybody nearby. So, people... You know, you know, like they may not want you around. You may not know it because you um causing them headaches and shit. You did when your powers are so strong and their and their mind frame is not. They could get headaches. People may get headaches around you because you're so fucking strong. Your psychic abilities. I um. What else I got for y'all? Some psychics that have a great brain, their brain cells multiply over and over until they die. Uh, what else I have for y'all? Um, they have some psychic abilities where if you close your eyes, it will heighten all other senses and also it will uh, heighten the psychic ability senses, AKA using uh, telekinesis. So you may close your eye and then um, things may be moving around you, floating around you. And then as soon as you open your eyes, shit just drop. You know, uh, what else we have, man? You have superb memory, you know, recall everything experienced from, from birth. That's different from learning everything and never forgetting what you learned. Like I said, it's different ins and outs about this shit, man. Uh, what, what else I got for y'all, man? Hold on. And then there's another psychic ability where all you need is one glance and you can know uh, a very amount of information of people. There's another psychic ability, uh, one that I know I possess, I'm gonna share with y'all, is that I can look at somebody and depending on their facial expressions, you know what I'm saying, also my energy at the time, I can see how they how they're gonna look, move and act, 
and the future them, the future selves and how they look when they was a child, how they acted as a child. And they also give you information about this person. You understand what I'm saying? Like some of us psychics could look into somebody's eyes and know everything. That's why certain people be avoiding us and shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? Um, what else I got? I'm about to go to my other notes for y'all. Cause, uh, I was, uh, cause, uh, you know, I want to say something, but I really can't. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> cause a situation happened and somebody had told me some shit. But I'm going to give y'all the other shit, all right? So there's apparitional experience. There's astral projection. There's being able to see people auras. There's bilocation. There's clairvoyance. There's the dead bed phenomena. There's dermal optical perception. There's uh, even the ability to see through walls, of sense energy through walls. That's you know what I'm saying. There's dream telepathy. There's ectoplasm. There's electronic voice phenomenons. Uh, there's extrasensory perception. There's Ganzi field. There's uh, being able to communicate ghosts, being a medium, shit like that. Um, psychic detectives, like you can see the imprint and the heat index of where this person was at or what they was doing, woo -de -woo. Uh, also, if you lost something, you can use that same uh, psychic detective ability to find things that you lost, you know? And I helped somebody learn how to develop that power one time because they lost something. And I, I said, uh, I'm going to get to that. It's, it's about dowsing. Uh, like I said, you have levitation, you have medialism. I mean, mediumship, you have near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences, paranormal, psychic reading, psychic surgery. You know, they got some people that could heal you without having to cut that psychic surgery. They have psychometry, pyrokinesis, hierokinesis, reincarnation, remote viewing. There's retrocognitism. There's second sight. There's sensory leakage, spoon bending. There's superconscious telekinesis, telepathy. Thoughtography, um, and uh, what I want to break that down on, man. The uh, the second sight, like basically, uh, a lot of psychics have the shower gun. You understand what I'm saying? Not that you the copycat ninja, and you could basically do what the other person has done and done it faster with you. But it's like it's like your most psychics are the master of genjutsu. You know what I'm saying? So that's your that's like your number one. Um, jutsu, it's genjutsu, you know what I'm saying, with the mind, you know, and you know when somebody playing mind games with you. So we're gonna go down to this right here, uh, astral projection, you know, they got atmokinesis, you know, there's automatic writing, there's biblication, there's chirokinesis, that's the control, that's the ability to control ice or cold with one's mind, there's energy medicine, there's a curse, you know, any express wish that, that some form of adversity or misfortune will befall or attach to one or, or more persons. Like there's uh, ergokinesis, the ability to influence the movement of energy such as electricity without direct interaction, you know, so, and that's possible as well. So there's uh, people that have been enlightening and enlightening could have striked them, but they uh, move that energy you know what I'm saying? Instead of becoming that conductor. Hey, you got uh, ID, I-D-D-H-I is the psychic abilities gained through Buddhism, meditation. Okay. Um, Anidia is the ability to survive without eating or drinking. Multiple cases has resulted in starvation and dehydration. So you want to be careful about that. You know, make sure your, your cells are healthy before you get into that type of range. Levitation, the ability to float or fly by mystical means. There's materialization. And that's why, um, like, I'm going to be honest, me, I'm a, uh, because salt and these salts are not real, right? So these salts, uh, you know, if you spray, you, you pour salt around the front of the house that protects you and, you know, it keep evil magic and shit away. So it also hinders your magic, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of these things that they got in the United States, this realm of reality that you want to eat, you want to incorporate, is really harming you and it's blocking your fucking um, abilities. And shout out to Lord for refreshing my mind. But like the sea salt and a lot of these salts, you know what I'm saying? They are uh, artificial, man-made, lab-made, 3D printed, 
crystals. They don't have they don't have no original substance that took time over pressure pressure periodic times to create these substance. You know what I'm saying? Like fossil fuels and shit. These crystals not real. So you ain't doing nothing but harming yourself at the end of the day. If you ain't got real crystals, so you still eating table salt and shit like all that shit they sell at Walmart. All that shit is really poison, bro. Did that is back to the point. There's a uh, petrification. That's the power to turn a living being to stone by looking them in their eyes. You know, uh, you know, there's prophecy. You know, the ability to foretell events without using induction or deduction from known facts. Psychic surgery, the ability to remove diseases or disorder within or over the body, aka also sound healing goes hand in hand with that. There's shape shifting, the ability to physically transform the user body into anything. There's telekinesis, there's teleportation, there's orthography, there's witnessing, and that's the gift of being visited by high-profile spiritual beings. You know what I'm saying? And then there's xenoglossy, the ability of a person to suddenly learn to write and speak a foreign language without any natural means, such as studying or research, but that is often rather bestowed by divine agents, which I have encountered because... um. I, like no narito, no sayayo, like you know what I'm saying. Those words people would never understand or know what that mean. You know what I'm saying? Like all of these different sounds and shit, man. So clairvoyance is the ability to see things and events that are happening far away, and to locate objects, places, people, and using the sixth sense. Divination is the ability to gain insight into a situation using a cult list. And then if you ever lose something, this is the one you want. I had taught. Uh, one of my students, this one right here, uh, with thousand, that's the ability to locate water, minerals, and other things that's below the ground. And you're using a tool called a thousand rod. And it's basically like, um, think that this was like copper or this was a tree and you hold it like this. And whatever you have in the mind's eye, the mineral or whatever you're looking for water, you know, you put it in here, you know, it's like, boom. And then when you're walking in the area, you're gonna feel that pull, you dig? Because you're in resonation with that frequency or whatever you're searching for. And then that rod is gonna start tilting over. And then when it, you ain't doing this shit, you're not doing this shit. When that rod tilt over, like you basically like not holding it hard, but you like holding it like this type shit. So when you feel that rod tip over, you know that's where you at. And that was the reason why you see these Saxons created the uh when they go on the beach and they got the little the little scanners digging up shit under the sand because they have not harnessed, they have not practiced, they have not perfected this ability called dowsing. You understand what I'm saying? So um they go on the beach with the metal detectors and shit, whatever you wanna call that shit, looking for shit under the sand. And then they have uh, like telepathy, the ability to transmit or receive thoughts supernaturally. Mm -hmm. um, there's retro uh, cognition, the ability to supernaturally perceive past events. And there's remote viewing, the psychometry, the ability to obtain information about a person or an object by touch. You understand what I'm saying? There's phytokinesis, that's the ability to control plants or one's mind. You understand what I'm saying? And um, yeah, hey, man, y'all just hit the, y'all just stress the like button, man. I just wanted to break some of these uh different capabilities down. If you know that you are a psychic, uh, you know everyone has psychic abilities, but may you may like that may be your main thing. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to let you know what you can start indulging into, start uh figuring out, reading books on. But it's not really about the books. It's really about the experience. That's the only way you're going to be able to utilize.